Hello everyone, I am Brian, you are Chords and Notes Nation, these are my two unnamed trolls, and this is another first listen reaction. I had a request for The Fourth Crusade by Bolt Thrower. Um, you know, I don't know if I've even heard the name Bolt Thrower before in regards to a band, so... This is, this is truly, truly, truly going to be a first listen. Um, just some things to cover real quick before we get started. If there is some sort of audio-visual lag in the film, I apologize ahead of time. My equipment isn't the best. I'm working at fixing it uh, as is. Otherwise, I'm going to have to upgrade uh, my equipment, which is going to mean... Uh, for you guys that I'm going to have to wind up opening a Patreon page and, and getting some help with that. I don't do this channel for money at this point. I just do it uh, sort of as a hobby. So uh, my finances are allocated elsewhere. Uh, home ownership and, and parenthood and, and such. So uh, anyways, that's, that's the way that is. If you do hear noises... Uh, please understand that I have a busy life schedule and I have life going on around me. And in an ideal world, I would isolate myself and, and make everything um, nice and quiet and all that. But I, I just don't do that. And that's part of my raw, unedited, and honest reactions. And I hope you guys can tolerate it. Most of you have. Um, if you do hear a lot of clicking and, and noises, like I'm doing something here, that's I, I have little fidgets. Um, that I use and uh, to help me stay focused so that's uh, that's kind of what that is and I have a laundry room back there and I usually do laundry when I'm here so um, that's the way she goes anyways uh, let's do this bolt thrower the fourth crusade
Crusade by Bolt Thrower. Uh, the only thing I do know about this is um, it says here it was written in 1992, recorded. Uh, so we've got about uh, oh 27 years ago. If I can still do my math right. <laughs> um, where do I begin? Um, let's let's start with the music. First of all, I really enjoyed the guitars. I, I really enjoyed that that slow, heavy riff and the sort of the melodic line that was repeated as a theme throughout the song. Um, the the rhythm section wasn't overpowering. It was it didn't do anything to make itself noticeable in a positive or negative way. It was there. It drove the song, and I I appreciated the slower tempo. Um, in in the composition the vocals I've never been a fan of the death growl uh, the only time I've really been okay with listening to it um, is is with Opeth and and that's only because Opeth earlier in their um, uh, earlier in their career they did a really good job of contrasting the death growls with clean vocals. If the clean vocals weren't there, I probably wouldn't have listened to Opeth because I just don't do the death growl thing. However, that being said, this was tolerable because I really appreciated the musical background with the other instruments. Um, it, it, it just, it was the right mixture for me. As far as mixing of the song is concerned, unless I have uh, a, a poor copy that I downloaded here, uh, or accessed here. Uh, I, I don't think the mixing was very good on this album, and, and that could be what it is. I don't think Bolt Thrower ever was a, a major player um, in music because I never heard of them before. That doesn't mean anything, um, but that's my guess. And so extending that logic would be maybe they didn't have the best of equipment for recording. Maybe they didn't hire the best of mixing engineers, producers, so on and so forth. Um, or I could be completely wrong, it could be my equipment, whatever the case may be. Um, but, so, to me, the mixing could have been a little bit better, because the vocals were buried um, underneath the, the stringed instruments. Okay, so let's get right into the lyrics. Mortified by the lack of conscience. Conscience, excuse me. Our sanctity bears no relevance. Insignificance is our existence. Here the litany of life's persistence um so yeah you have good rhyming there um mortified by the lack of conscious you know you're talking about the crusades you're talking about the just the death and 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 horror and of of two ideal ideologies clashing and and people just killing each other um and and it really does set that backdrop uh the sanct our sanctity bears no relevance the sanctity of life has no meaning, no relevance to what's going on here. There, there's a, a specific goal that's greater that you know you give your life for for this goal, uh, and it really does put uh, to a certain degree an insignificance upon the existence of those people that are fighting um, here. And not everybody had a choice. You know, you, you you're talking. Um, Dark Ages, medieval era, you would have had um, 
you would have had knights and lords that pledged their fealty to kings and, and the crown, uh, at least Western. Eastern, I'm, Middle Eastern, I'm not quite sure how that, that worked. Um, and there would have been those that were in service to the knights um, that would have been called up to, uh, to march into the Middle East in conquest of the Holy Land. Uh, so there would be people that probably did not have a choice in the matter. Um, here, the litany of life's persistence. I like that line. Um, but I'm not quite sure where it would it, it's going to fit right now. So let me move on. Our pleas for mercy fall upon unhearing ears. Take my life, my soul, wipe away these bitter tears. Vanquish, vanquished in the name of your God. Uh, so disassociating themselves from uh, from God. One of the same to whom we all pray. We all pray to the same God. Vanquish in the name of your God. One of the same to whom we once prayed. So you have this situation where because of what's going on and this inhumanity that people are being thrust into, uh, maybe now they're not believing so much, they're not praying to that God. Because you had, essentially, two ideologies. Uh, here they're saying that they pray to the same God, fighting over the same thing. One of the same to whom we once prayed. Try to close my mind from the screams I hear. Repentance is denied the confirmation of my fear. Yeah, it, it was pretty ugly. Uh, I, I'm sure it was. Um, I did not live during that time, clearly. It's interesting. This is this is this is an interesting song. I like the thought that they put into the lyrics. Lyricism is important to me. When you're trying to express an idea, to do so tactfully and artistically, I think is much more attractive than just the in-your-face type stuff. And so I like this. I do like this. Uh, I, I can imagine it was, it was hell. And the questioning, you know, I actually am kind of thinking about Angra's album. Um, now I can't remember the name of it. Temple of Shadows, was it? Um, that dealt with this as well. And it, it really is one of those ideological battles where, you know, people, people are engaging in bloody war in the name of their right religious ideals and and how can that be justified and that's that's a deeper that's a deeper concept and it's relevant most definitely huh just has some random thoughts there anyways um Good song. I'll uh, probably continue with Bolt Thrower. Uh, this was the first song of several on this album. How many do they have here? Looks like 11. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Maybe I'll do some more. Have yourself a great day.